any syrup halo fans in the house. Keep the hot liquids away from your hands, please. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I was just watching some of the political coverage and uh, it inspired me to write a little poem I call An Ode to the Witless White Women of Wing World. In the days of McCain and his OE campaign, it seems the old man was a trailing, and much to his shame, he selected a dame to be his running mate. She could speak with a plum, but she was terribly dumb, and it was evident soon she was failing. McCain lost his bid, he certainly did, and the wingnuts, they were a-wailing. But who would have guessed that Palin was blessed? She went on to Fox News in glory. Though she'd gone down in flames, she stuck to her game. This wasn't the end of her story. For out in right field, it seems she appealed to the hearts and the minds of the basest, to John Bircher clones, Republican drones, and lots of illiterate racists. <laughs> the salt of the earth, some great of girth, but for the most part, Caucasian. With hair uncurled and flags unfurled, they raged against abomination. And Palin, their mentor, tweeted and spoke on behalf of the people and the billionaire's coke. And with the success of her book, Going Rogue, the idiot archetype came into vogue. Not only Palin, but Michelle Bachman too. Dependably daft, with absurd points of view. And of course, Sharon Engel, who runs from the mics of all but Fox News and those whom she likes. And Christine O'Donnell, the professional candidate, who is oddly concerned with whether you masturbate. So don't even look to the national news if ever you thirst for rational views. While the Tea Party reigns, all you're likely to find is some witless white woman who's out of her mind.